Up to now, we've talked about how easy the Apex Z can be to use. We've gone over features like presets and groups, which are just a few of the Apex Z's features designed to make life easier when you're doing routine sampling. Now, I want to talk to you about the brand new feature the Apex Z has, called Grid View. The very first thing I'm going to do is show you how to access Grid View. There's a menu icon on the top left of the screen, and when you press it, you get a series of icons. Each icon represents a different view of the particle counter, a different type of interface. First is Column View, the view you're currently looking at. The next one down is the Grid View. Go ahead and press that. Now you get a blank screen with one button for adding locations. When you use Grid View, you're essentially leaving yourself a trail of breadcrumbs. You'll be pre-programming the locations you want to sample and the sample settings you want to use at each location. The reasoning for sampling with Grid View is that traditional sampling methods, grabbing a particle sampler and programming it as you go, opens you up to errors. You can easily forget a location, forget to change a sample setting, or just not get things right. When you want to pre-program your sampling plan for the day, you can do that all in Grid View. In Manual Grid View, hit the Location Plus button and you go to a screen with your groups, locations, and sample settings. We're going to tell the Apex Z that we want to use the same group, so go ahead and select Room 1. We want to hit all of the locations designated for that location, so first we're going to hit Fill 1, and we're going to use our 1 minute 3 cycles preset. Hit Save. And now you've got a block that has your fill one location with the sample settings. The next location we'll set up is location two. Here, we're going to take a five minute sample with one cycle. Go to the manual input, enter your settings, and hit save. Now you've got your second block. Let's set up one more sample for location three, but this time we're going to go back to a one minute sample. And just like that, You've got three sample blocks on your grid. When you're ready to take your particle counter into your clean room to sample, just select the fill one grid and hit the start button. When the sample is finished, the grid color will change to green if the block turns red and alarm limit was exceeded. Now, with just one touch, you can move through all of your locations with all of your settings ready to go. You can tell at a glance if you've missed a location and don't have to think about what sample settings you need to use. When you're all done sampling, you can hit the end icon. From there, you have the two options. One lets you simply end your sampling and return home. But if this is a routine that you'll be reusing frequently, you have the option to save everything you've just done as a sample plan. Just name the sample plan, hit apply, and it's saved. In the future, when you need to perform the same samples, just go to your sample plan dashboard, and there's the sample plan you just saved. Select that plan, hit save, and there you are in grid view, ready to start sampling. With grid view and sample plans, the Apex Z is not only the easiest portable particle counter to use, but also the most error free.